Hello and welcome back to the Matrix Gold 10 Minutes video series. Today in this video we will do a pavé ring. So I will I want to have a center stone and then place a pavé on the on these uh, ring shoulders. So I will try to do it in 10 minutes. Let's see how it goes. You know that these are is a every video is a challenge. So let me start with just a uh, creating a new for a new project pave or solitaire we will call it solitaire ring okay all right so we have the timer and let's start so timer is on and i will start with a finger rail and the first thing that I will do is just attach a stone on this ring rail. So probably I will go a bit smaller and I will place the stone here. So I want just the shoulder uh, reach this level. So then we can set the, the diamond. Okay. All right. Now let's place the profiles. So I'll go tools, profile placer. And I will move it just to here. And I will change it to this profile. This is the amount of metal that I need to just set the stone. Then I will do the mirror and I will place another one here. Now, as you can see, we have the height that we have that we just set on the profile placer. But let me show you a little trick here is that I can go to the ring rail, click on the right button. So I add outside ring rail, I set up because I rather to have this shape. And now what I can do is just go back to the profile placer, edit, and I will say that I want everything to follow this outside curve. And as you can see, in just one click, I get all the profiles inside this. Probably I will make this one a bit wider like this. I need more metal to hold the stone. And now what I will do is just from the surface, the sweep tool, because I have two rails, one, two, and I have this. All right, so we have the ring. Uh, actually, what I will do, I like to have a flat end, so I click zero, so I get this flat end. And now what I will add to this gem is just a under bezel. I will move it just like this and I will let me go like that. Okay. Then we will use the cut to ring rail to, to cut it. Okay, what else can we do here? So now I will place the, the pave here, but this is gonna be very, very heavy. So we are three minutes now. Let's try to do some something here to reduce the weight. All right, so I want to have the pavé. So what I will do is just, I will go and I will create another profile placer to this curve. I will use the same. And what I will do is just from here, I will just move it lower. I will bring it up and a bit more wider. Okay. And up to just here. Because what I want to do here is just 
some uh, uh, I want to create a hollow part This will be okay and that one probably I can just cool now again I will go to the sweep one and I will do sweep between this one and this one probably I can just bring this a bit higher Okay, now I will do just a mirror and from solid I will go to the volume difference I will use this, this and this so let's see what did we get I go to perspective alright so now we have this hollow part here if I want to go any further as you know I can move the profile so now let's gonna create the pavet I will go to the top view I want just to see diamonds <coughs> all this area so what I will do is just create um, I will use the smart curve and from the smart curve what I will do is just uh, symmetry horizontal and close and I will go just from here all right and now I select everything and I will do a project so now I have projected this curve here this is the only one that I'm interested with, so I just unselect it and I remove all the other ones. And what I will do is I will get this one and I will do a mirror. Six minutes and a half, we are a bit far, so I don't know if I will do the I will be able to to make it in 10 minutes today. So mirror, okay. And now what I will do is the what I will use is the pull push. So select the curve. This is the curve, and select the surface. This is the surface. All right. Now I want to go to minus 0.3, and I will do the same on this other. So again, curve, surface. This one, and minus 0.3 okay now i need to place the pave here to place the pave here what i will do is just Control shift or i can go and extract surface you see and you say that you want to copy copy yes and i want this surface so now i select this surface and let's go from tools sorry from gems with the pave seven minutes i'm getting i'm getting there so I'll go to one millimeter stones and we got all these stones. I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, because now what I will do next is I will select the stones. I want to place a couple more here. So I select these stones. I will go to the Gemma Springs. I select this surface. And what I will do is just add another gem, 0 0.8, 8 minutes and a half. Oh man, today I'm not going to make it. One here and another one just here. So I validate. Now I will use The gems settings pave prongs. Select surface. This is the surface. Okay. And what I will do is just nine minutes. 
cutters chem cutter okay so now what I will do is just select this this and this and I will do a mirror transform mirror half minute to go and what I will do now is just select this ring and so I will do solid volume difference between this and this seven seconds to go four three two one and ten minutes I'm just waiting for the operations to happen so once this is done now we're because there is many many stones this is why it's taking this extra time but as you can see the, the, the mouse cursor is spinning is because it's doing all the operations but finally there we go so I think that we made it there is these extra seconds that um, I just uh, went uh, long but now if I get the stones I can do the mirror but yeah I think that uh, we made it so on after, uh, before the 10 minutes uh, the ring was already done so this is how fast you can go to make a perfect ring let me just go to render and let's see how it will look like this ring once it's done so if I apply white gold to this render apply sorry to this material and I apply a diamond to my gem and I apply the matrix classic Two hundred fifty passes, just to show the result. Let's see how it looks like. Oh, I need to apply also on these stones, the diamond, and let's see what we get. So we are almost there, and there we go. So this is the render that we can get from from the ring that we have been working on in just 10 minutes you can get this this puppy all right then thank you i hope you like it and see you next time